the candy store. Today's letter is one of my favorites. It's a very curvy letter, and it's used in a lot of words, and it sounds like this. S can you do that? S can you guess what it is? Don't say it out loud. We're going to ask Postman Pete if our letter is ready. You scared me, lady. I've got a lot of packages here and a lot of work to do. Who are you? I'm Larry the Letter Carrier. Well, I'm glad to meet you, Larry the Letter Carrier, but where's Pete? Well, we packed Pete off to Pittsburgh. I'm the new letter carrier here. Well, Pete couldn't have moved to Pittsburgh. We didn't have a party. Oh, yes, we did. No girls were invited. Oh. What did you want? Well, I came for today's letter, uh, Larry. Oh, today's letter. Well, it's the letter S. See, it's all curvy, and it goes Miss Lana, can you go Sss? Well, sure. Sss, sss. Today's letter is the letter S, and S is for sickness. That's not a very good word. But if you know Jesus as your Savior, the Bible says in Matthew 8, 17, Himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Do you know what that's talking about? It's talking about Jesus taking our sicknesses on the cross. And when you obey His word, whenever sickness comes your way, you can tell it to leave. Now here's Nicodemus with a song about being a believer and not a doubter. So 
yell it out and don't be shy. Go ahead, kids, give the word a try. Say Matthew 8, 17. Matthew 8, 17. Himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. you're saying, 
said the fox. But what do I do to get healed? Don't you get it, said Brenda? You are healed. God's word says so. All you have to do is believe it with your heart and say it with your mouth. I'm healed, said the fox. Brenda and Skippy got all excited and said, That's right! But my nose is still sore, replied the fox. Keep saying and believing God's word, said Skippy. God's word works. That's what faith is, Brenda said. You believe you have the answer before you can see it. Brindle and Skippy kept speaking God's word with the little fox until it was time for them to go home for supper. We'll meet you back here tomorrow, Brindle said. Okay, he answered, and I am healed. The next morning when Skippy and Brindle were on their way to the meadow, the little fox came running up the trail to meet them. I'm healed, he yelled. I'm healed. As Brindle and Skippy got closer to the fox, they could see the big lump on his nose had disappeared. Praise God, they yelled. Praise God, the little fox replied. God's word works. You know what, boys and girls? It does work. God's word works. The Bible says in Matthew 8, 17, that himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. And when you're sick, all you have to do is speak God's word. It works. Pete! Pete Postman, hey Pete, you here? Ha! Oh man, you startled me. Wait a minute. You're not Pete the Postman. Nope. I'm Larry. Larry the letter carrier. Pete's not here. He got transferred to Pittsburgh. Oh, you know, he's been wanting to go to Pittsburgh. I'm glad he finally got his prayers answered. Yep. What can I do for you there, Nicodemus? Well, Miss Linda said you had some kind of a package with my name on it. Sure, I've got a lot of packages. I've even got one with your name on it. I'll okay. be right back. Let okay. me find it. Okay. It's right back here. Uh, let me see. Uh, I like packages. Nick, Nick, uh, Nick, uh, Demas. Uh, a lot of packages. Demas, Nick, uh, let me see. Uh, here it is, here it is. Nick yeah. Demas, here's your package. That's right my name. Yep. yep. This must be for me. It's got my name, Nick Demas, right there. And there's an S. And an S? Oh, it's a package of, must have something with S. <laughs> See, what is this? It's, it's a sickness package. Sickness? Well, I don't know about this. Uh, let me open this up and see what it is. A sickness package. <laughs> well, it says it's for you. Well, it's got my name on it. Let's just see what this is. Open it up and put that there. Let's see. Uh-oh. Look what's in here. Measles? Ugh. And cancer, that's a horrible disease. I don't want that. And chicken pox, yep, that's chicken pox, all those little dots all over it. Chicken pox, that's no fun. And flu, ooh, makes your tummy hurt. And here's one, cold, ooh, nobody likes a cold. And this is, ooh, that's a bad one, AIDS. They don't have any cure for that one. Let's see, oh, this is from Lucy Fear. Lucy Fear, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just sign for it and it's all yours. Ooh, I'm not about to sign for this Lucy Fear. That's the devil, boys and girls. It's got your name on it and all you these... have to take it. Well, I'm not gonna take it. You know why? Because this is a sickness package from the devil and I know from God's word that I don't have to receive sickness into my life. Now just let me tell you how you receive sickness when the devil brings it by. Say someday you get up and, oh, my throat's sore. Well, you've got a choice to make. You can sign for that sickness by saying, I'm sick, I feel bad, oh, I'm sick, I'm sick, I'm sick. When you do that, you actually sign for the sickness that the devil brought your way. Or you can say this, my throat hurts this morning, but I believe Matthew 8, 17 Jesus took my sicknesses. I'm not signing for this package of sickness. It's got to go because I believe Jesus took it and I receive healing. And when you do that, that old sickness can't stay. I'm not signing for this. I'm not signing for all those bad things because Jesus took my sicknesses. Well, I don't want it. I guess I'll throw it in the garbage. The letter S. 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 Hey. 
worship God together as we sing this song.
to stir this together real thoroughly. Once you start it up, you'll want to add a little pinch of salt, which we do not have, so we'll just add some bubble gum. Now, there's two things you can do with your chocolate bars. You can either eat it, or you can put it on the head of your favorite moose. Now, my moose is way up in the air, so I'm going to have to get up on my ladder and get up close to him so I can put this moose on his head. Hey, don't put that on my head. You'll mess up my antlers. You can talk. Stop, wait, Trudy Lou, no. No, don't do that. Why not? You will ruin your moose. Thanks, Nick. <clears throat> hey, listen, you're messing up my cooking segment. Well, I'm very sorry, but I had to come in and introduce today's number. What is it? It's the number eight. Eight? You mean like eat? You know, after you eat, you eight? No, 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 Trudy Lou, not that kind of eight. It's the number eight. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He, he can talk. You want some of my chocolate mousse? No. And boys and girls, you should never put this kind of a thing into your mouth. Only eat the kind of food that your mama makes you. Now, remember, today's number is the number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 The number
said, take this medicine, and if you're not dead in a week, come back and see me. Oh, man, I was so depressed. So I went home. But then, while I was sitting in my doghouse, I remembered God's word. Matthew 8, 17 says, himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. That's talking about Jesus. Praise God. Then I began to rejoice in the word. I said, thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you that the joy of the Lord is my strength. And I'm going to rejoice in your word and receive strength because I believe I am healed. Well, I rejoiced and praised God, even though hair was falling out everywhere, and I kept on itching. Do you know why? Because I believe healing was mine, even though I didn't feel like it yet. Well, I did that for one day. I did that for two days. I was still scratching and itching and hair was falling out, but I kept on rejoicing, because there's strength in joy. On day number three, I noticed that the itch was gone. I looked at my leg, and there was pretty, pretty, pretty hair going back on it. Then I looked at my ear, and there was pretty, pretty, pretty hair going back on it. And then I looked at my tail, and there too, there was pretty, pretty, pretty hair going back on it. Praise God for his word. It will work for you too if you will believe and rejoice in the Lord because the joy of the Lord is your strength. He wouldn't take his package, Lana. Who? Nicodemus. See, he had a package with his name on it. It was a package of sickness. He gave it to me, but I threw it in the garbage. Well, good. I don't blame him for not taking it, Larry. Sickness is of the devil. I don't like sickness. Me either. And boys and girls, whenever the devil tries to put sickness on you, you don't have to take it either. When that tummy ache comes or that headache or whatever sickness it is, you don't have to take it. You just have to say, no, I don't have to take this in Jesus' name. Because Matthew 8, 17 says, himself took my infirmities and bear my sicknesses. Yeah, praise God. Preach it, sister. Well, excuse me, but I get excited about the Word of God. Boys and girls, we're out of time. Today, our letter is the letter S. Don't you forget it. And our number for the day is the number 